first he backs him up and relates something about Nebuchadnezzar, his father. O thou king, the most high God gave Nebuchadnezzar, thy father, a kingdom and majesty and glory and honor. And for the majesty that he gave him, all people, nations, and languages trembled and feared before him. Whom, whom he would, he slew, and whom he would, he kept alive. He had the power of life and death in his hand. King Nebuchadnezzar did. And whom he would, he set up, and whom he would, he put down. But when his heart was lifted up, and his mind hardened in pride, he was disposed from his kingly throne. And they took his glory from him, and he was driven from the sons of men, and his heart was made like the beast, and his dwelling was with the wild asses. They fed him with grass like oxen, and his body was wet with the dew of heaven, till he knew that the Most High God ruled in the kingdom of men, that he appointed over it whomsoever he will. God is in control of everything. Mm -hmm. He puts in place who he wants, and he takes them out. That's right. Verse 22, And thou his son, O Belshazzar, hast not humbled thine heart, though thou knowest all this. So in spite of the fact that Belshazzar saw all this and was aware of what had transpired with Nebuchadnezzar, he still decided to have the party and take the consecrated vessels of the Lord. Hear what Daniel says about it. But thou hast lifted up thyself against the Lord of heaven, and they have brought the vessels of this house of his house before thee, and thou and thy lords, thy wives, and thy concubines have drunk wine in them, and thou hast praised the gods of silver and gold, of brass, iron, wood, and stone, which see not, hear not, nor know, and the God in whose hand thy breath is, and whose art all thy ways, hast thou not glorified. And the band played on. So while they was having their big party, and all the band's going on, and they think this is going to go on forever. Turns out not to be the case because if you read verse 30, Daniel went on to tell him what the reading of the wall was, the writing, and what it meant. Okay. In verse 30, we find out in conclusion, in that night was Belshazzar, the king of the Chaldeans, slain. Mm -hmm. Amen. So the last piece of music was played. Okay. The band went silent, and King Belshazzar was slain. So that party came to an end. All right, now that's one part. Let's go look at another one. Judges 16. The band plays on. Judges 16. We're going to look at another party that was thrown by the Philistines after they managed to subdue Samson. I think everybody's familiar with the story of Samson. We might have even touched on it a few times. But you remember how Delilah kept after him to get him to reveal to her the secret of his strength. Yes. And much like the church of today, I believe, Daniel or Samson is kept playing around until he finally got in trouble. Okay? <clears throat> and he revealed to her after she kept goading him and goading him, okay, he finally gave in and he told her the true part about his strength. Now let's start at 19. And she made him sleep upon her knees, and she called for a man, and she caused him to shave off the seven locks of his head, and she began to afflict him, and his strength went from him. And she said, The Philistines be upon thee, Samson, as she had done many times before. Samson had awoken, shook himself. Of course, they weren't there at the time, but he had his strength. And before, this is what happens this time. She called him, and he awoke out of his sleep and said, I will go out as at other times before and shake myself. And he wist not that the Lord was departed from, the, from him. He didn't realize that the strength of the Lord left him. I believe much like the church today. Okay? They don't even realize that they have lost so much of God. When the scriptures talk about in the last days, Many shall depart from the faith, being seduced by the seeming spirit. Jesus. Now, we've touched on this before. When the Revelation talks about God spewing them out of his mouth, if they're lukewarm, okay, I don't believe that's an event that's going to occur in heaven. I believe it's going to occur here. Okay. And those that grow lukewarm in the Lord, 
and he'll spew them out of his mouth and they won't even realize it, just like Samson didn't realize he had lost the strength of the Lord. Right. <clears throat> but the Philistines took him and put out his eyes and brought him down to Gaza and bound him with fetters of brass, chains of bread, and he did grind in the prison house, much like an old animal. Mm -hmm. They hooked him up to the grindstone there, just made him go around in circles, grinding the mule. But, howbeit, the hair of his head began to grow again after he was shaven. That was just thrown in. Now listen. So, it's party time, according to the Philistines. Then the lords of the Philistines gathered them together for to offer a great sacrifice unto Dagon, their god, and to rejoice. That sounds like a party to me. Mm -hmm. yeah. For they said, Our God hath delivered Samson, our enemy, into our hand. And when the people saw him, saw Samson, they praised their God. For they said, Our God hath delivered into our hands our enemy and the destroyer of our country, which slew many of us. And it came to pass when their hearts were merry that they said, Call for Samson that he may make us sport. In other words, they were going to make fun of him. Mm -hmm. They were going to tease him. This poor blind person now lost all his strength. They were going to make the most out of him. <clears throat> and he made them swear. And they set him between the pillars. And Samson said unto the lad that held him by the hand, Suffer me that I may fill the pillars whereupon the house standeth, that I may lean upon them. Now listen to how many were at this party. Okay? And I'm sure, I believe there was music here. Bands playing. Now the house was full of men and women. And all of the lords of the Philistines were there. Everybody that was anybody. It was there to celebrate this victory over Samson. And there were upon the roof about 3,000 men and women. That beheld while Samson made sport. And Samson called unto the Lord and said, O Lord God, remember me, I pray thee, and strengthen me, I pray thee, only this once. O God, that I may be at once avenged of the Philistines for my two eyes. And Samson took hold of the two middle pillars upon which the house stood, and on which it was borne up, of the one with his right hand, and of the other with his left. And Samson said, Let me die with the Philistines. Now the party's still going on. They're not aware of what's happening. And the music's playing. And he bowed himself with all his might, and the house fell upon the lords and upon all the people that were therein. So the dead which he slew at his death were more than they which he slew in his life. So that party came to an end too. The band was playing, the music was going, and they thought, boy, this is a good time for all. Mm -hmm. okay. But that party came to an end. 